so hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today in this video i will show you how to create the simple tip calculator app so basically you can enter the bill amount and uh, you can select the tip percentage so let's go within something like eight and we can select how many people so for example if i select one and click on calculate we have a tip of 160 and total tip of that and if i increase the tip uh sorry increase the number of people uh, then it will be converted to per person and uh, we do have to calculate click on calculate for that so yeah so this is what we will be creating today so without any further ado let's get started to making this so first of all i would like to create the project so i will say flutter hopefully i can spell it correct yeah tip calculator and we will wait for a second or two to get it built and we will open this up for this because we don't want this project to be opened anymore so i'm just gonna make sure to have a screenshot so that we can discuss in all about it later on and i'm gonna close this and i'm going to open the project it's going to be tip calculate open okay so here we have it this is a new project and so let me just do one very simple thing let me grab this screenshot and open it up okay we will keep this at the site so that we can be understandable what we want to create and all and how we are going to do about it so the first thing which you can see is this is an image this is a text then a little bit of space uh, edit text or text field then we have a row in row we have this text then we have this icon text icon text icon text icon uh, we have an uh, gesture detector on both of these icons and this is actually a container mm, rather than you, you if you want you can use a button as well but basically container container is more customizable for my preferences so, so i select container so first thing first which what i will do i will remove all the code from this uh, new file and uh, i will create a new stateful widget i'm going to call it home page uh, home page let me give this okay we will get rid of this title okay so getting started uh, we will add this at the end and we will firstly start working on this so as we can see it is kind of a, uh, like um, a vertical arrangement so we will use a column in this we will have a container out of it uh, basically making it a child of column so this is a kind of a good practice reason being if your column height crosses while in most cases our will not but for example in some smaller devices it may not be so if you can wrap up in a container then you can wrap in a like single child scroll view and all right so that's the way and let's move on so here we have a container and uh, one thing as uh, which i would like to do is add this to a scaffold the reason why i'm doing this because uh, it will really affect the screen now so just a second yeah so we are inside the column now what we will do initially the first thing i can see is the text field so i will say text field we can use the form field as well but not required we have enough features on this so we will require some variables over here okay so let me define them so it will be double first of all we have this bill amount so i'll say bill amount and let's define it to be zero initially then we have this tip percentage so i will say tip percentage okay page oh my god <laughs> okay uh, then we have uh, people number of people so we will say people is equals to one initially okay anything more uh, yeah we have a total amount so i will say total amount which will be zero initially okay so in the text field what we can see is if i uh, sorry it's not working so if i will remove all this text there was a hint text so to use that we will go decoration input decoration and inside input decoration we will have a property called hint text um, i'm going to call it bill amount bill amount okay uh, then what we want whenever we will enter a particular value in this we want that to be saved to our bill amount so what we will do for that on sorry on changed and this will give us a value this can be whatever you want and basically bill amount 
the name of this variable can be whatever you want this is basically the value which is coming from that right so bill amount will be equals to value okay so now we have the value now it is saying string okay so this was a problem so what we will do we will say um there was something called dot two double is a direct option okay just a second what we will do we will say double dot parse and we will paste this correct fine it's working okay so the next thing what we want is this text field is done now i will have some uh, size box just of a height of something like 20 and then i need uh, this row so i'll say row and that we will have children's what do we have in children children we have the first thing to be a, a text and in that text i'm going to say if if and percentage then i'm going to use a spacer okay just a second yeah a spacer now what is a spacer a spacer uh, tends to occupy all the space space which is it can um, so that's how it works basically what we want we will have this one kind of container in this and this whole space we want to be as much spaced out as possible so that's what the purpose of a spacer is um, now if we talk about icon we need icon and in icon we will have icons dot this one is a circular um, remove button so remove circle and uh, okay uh, we can also do this uh, like wrap it in a widget which is a gesture detector and in gesture detector we will basically have an on tap property on tap property we will have a function which we will call not right now i'm just gonna have a to do for this okay so this is gesture detector now moving on what we need is a text uh, another text but before that i'm gonna give it a sized box of width of around eight that will be fine then we will require a text and in that text we will have okay so this particular percentage is actually coming from a percentage so i'm going to take that uh, i'm going to set it to five percent initially and uh, then we are going to say tip percentage dot we have some functions to it uh, to string as fixed so why i'm doing this is basically if i increase this but while we don't have we are just increasing it by one uh, when we are clicking on this so let's just let's just get rid of it don't make it complicated just very easy okay so it is tip percentage and then we will use the sign okay right now what we want we would just want the same kind of structure the icon and this time the icon will be add circle so let me run it as well so that we can be you know clear about what we are doing and what we actually want so just a second okay here we go um yeah it's running it's building in the meantime uh, we can see we have done this this and we want a whole copy of this row so i will what i will do i will just have size box of height around let's go with something like 16 and after that i will just grab this whole row copy it and paste it again sorry paste it uh, we can see we have the tip percentage at first but the second one is called people so i'll call it people and uh, another thing is we want this to be at the center and other than that we need some paddings as well so let's do that all we will have padding we'll say edge insets okay that's how we give padding all. So we will go symmetric we will say horizontal um, so horizontal i selected 30 and uh, vertical it can be around uh, you know 50 or something and then we will move on to alignment so alignment i am going to give it to con uh, column of hours which is main axis alignment what is main axis alignment uh, this is the main axis for column and that is the main axis for row so basically for if we want this to be arranged in the center of that we will say main axis alignment dot center and if i save that you can see we have this here now of course i would like to have it something like this so yeah we are at that structure it looks good um i do miss a sized box over here so which we should add and uh, okay now in that case of as we will say people and we will get rid of this okay so it's looking fine now after the row we need a sized box why a sized box we need some space 
So let's go with something like 20 again and uh, now we will use a container as I said. Uh, we will have child and the text will be what is it? It is calculate. So C A L C U L A T E. Okay, we have a calculate text. Now this requires some kind of styling as well, which you can see it has some color properties and all as well. So I'm going to give it color, colors dot white, and then I will say font size. So I have given it around I believe 17 or something. Okay, so right now if I will save it, it will not be visible because the color is white. So what I will do right now is I will give it some decoration okay so i will say decoration okay just a second decoration and we will go for box decoration inside box decoration we can uh, give it uh, color first of all so colors dot blue and now i can just uncomment it okay so right now you can see it now what we will do we will get some paddings we will say edge insets dot uh, symmetric Vertical I will go with around 12 and horizontal I will go around 24 Hopefully that is correct um, We can play with these numbers. That's not something very specific um, This is the color now now what we want is the border radius. So we will say border radius border radius dot circular Yeah, and I'll go something like 24 or something so that we can get this kind of like um i believe we selected the text uh, you can make it size bigger i think 7 a 18 looks fine for me we should increase this though because yeah um i think it looks very big i think 17 will be fine enough yeah 17 looks good now below container what we will have is a text so what will that text will be that text is tip so now in this text we will be playing with it so let me right now just have it and uh, tell you what will happen so what we want is whenever we will enter this amount so let's say I enter 2000 okay I want that amount uh, to be calculated when I click on this button so right now as I can see uh, as you can see as well this is a container so it will not work have some kind of options of on tap or on press so we will use a gesture detectors to surround it with that then we will have an on tap property in that we will have a function call that is going to be a calculate so I'm just gonna go at this place and I'm going to create a function which is going to be void because it's not going to return anything it's just gonna do its thing which is calculate so in this function what I want is uh, basically take the bill amount okay so what we are calculating we are calculating the tip so I'll say tip equals to bill amount okay and uh, multiply that with the Tip percentage so I'm going to go like this tip percentage divided by 100 and uh, it is saying undefined okay so total amount is there we don't have a, a tip amount right we should have a tip amount that is a total amount I'm going to go for a tip amount as well tip amount goes to zero okay so we can say it to be tip amount now if we can see we want this tip amount to be shown over here and this will be total amount sorry for the text problem uh, i will fix it in this one so what we will do we will go over here and mention tip and uh, dollar sign and we will use tip amount okay and in this one i will say total amount and uh, it will be total amount okay so now you can see it right now but what we want is as well just just give me a second so that i can give it a size as well okay so now what we want is when it is zero we don't want to show it right so what we will do for that is we will have tip amount equals to equals to zero or you know what let's go with not equals to zero so basically what i'm saying this is called a conditional operator actually okay so what i'm saying i'm saying that if the tip amount is not equals to zero then show the tip amount uh, tip and tip amount this particular thing below uh, before the sorry before this this is if this condition is true then this or else this so similarly i will do 
for the next step as well so let me grab that and total amount total amount okay so now you can see it's working fine if i save it we are not able to see this because these amounts are zero right now so let me get back to the calculate now we do want to calculate this but as you may understand we need to set a state so that it should be updated right away so the tip amount will be calculated through it so let me check how it is working if i click on it okay we are not calling that function i believe yeah so we should come over here and we will do calculate now one thing also which i want to make sure is i don't want someone to just uh, have that blank and um, you know he's able to do so so what i will do for that we can use keys and all for like validator for our field and uh, things like that but for the simplicity of this what i will do i will just simply have if um, bill amount is greater than zero okay so i want to make sure that the bill amount is greater than zero then only we will calculate or else we will do nothing if you want you can have something like a um, you know toast or whatever we call it uh, so that we can show that you should enter some amount so that we can calculate more. so now you can see we have 100 tip now let me just give it us some sized box so it's going to be sized box and height around uh, okay height around uh, 14 will be fine i believe uh, let's go with 16 actually right okay so now we can see the total uh, the tip is cal being calculated but the total amount is not so what is total amount total amount is basically the bill amount plus the tip so we will say total amount is equals to bill amount plus tip tip amount now if i save this and calculate it again you can see the total amount is visible as well now one condition which we have is we want to have we will be able to like you know click on these buttons actually this is not working so we should be able to click on these button plus and minus and the tip percent should increase and the people should increase as well and according to that if i click on calculate and the people are more than one we want to make sure that the tip and the total amount is shown for per person let me just add this okay anyways now let's do that so we will come back to icons we have a to do over here so what we'd want we basically want some functions so let me create those okay so what the first function will do we will create a function for this what it will do um tip decrement something like that we can call it anything we want it's just a function and what this will do this will basically take the tip uh, percentage and it will do minus minus it's called decrement operator increment decrement that's what we call it okay we have void and then we will say tip increment increment and uh, we will say tip percentage plus plus so this will increase it then we want one for people as well so we will say people decrement meant and uh, this is going to have people and uh, so we want decrement so minus minus void okay sorry void we will say people increment and we will have people plus plus okay now let's call these functions so this is a remove circle basically minus for tip percentage so i will call tip decrement this is an add circle so i will call tip increment and a semicolon okay in this one it is a remove circle for people so i will call people decrement and a semicolon people increment and a semicolon so if i save this right now okay one thing which is important as well that uh, we we will update this but we want to reflect it at the real time for example let me show you if i will click on it right now the number is actually increasing but it's not visible so what we want to do is basically we will cut this out we will say set state and we will put that so cut this out set state okay cut set state cut set state now if i will save it you can see you know the number uh, was increasing actually uh, before that but because this was not working that's why so now if i decrease it it's working if i increase it it's working decrease it okay 
no so we can go back now let me go to the people as one okay so this is so solved now what we want is the final thing we want per person thing so for that we will go to our calculate function and we will have a condition over here that uh, just a second that if people is equals to equals to one so if it is equals to equals to one then we will do this else else basically what we will do we will do something similar like this but uh, we should you know the tip amount will be uh, divided by just a second so this is the total amount and uh, this is how total amount is calculated if we talk about the tip amount so tip amount is equals to this and this uh, now we want per person okay so what we will do we will basically divide this whole um, so we can say tip amount is equals to tip amount sorry tip amount divided by people similarly we can say total amount okay so the tip amount is already being uh, per person and then we are adding it so let's do one thing as well uh, let's have something like double double and we will say bill bill per person if i make some uh, mathematical issues please let me know so, okay so what we want for that is bill amount divided by people okay and we will have bill and that to be here okay seems like things are done uh let me see so we have this double we are saving bill amount divided by people uh, as many people we have and then we are adding that per person bill plus the whole tip amount so i hope this is the right way let me see if i will click on calculate it is showing tip to be 200 so for 10 percent that's okay but we want per person as well so let me do that okay so what we will do for that is uh, we will go inside this text and we will use the conditional operator so what we will say we will say people equal to equal to one if that is the condition then we will show this or if that's not the condition then we will show something similar but per person per person um similarly for this as well we will have this condition of let me do that people equal to equals to one and if that is the condition then this is there and if that's not the condition then this is there with basically this text person we did some error aren't we okay let me see what's the problem so it's saying too many arguments okay i understand okay so now it seems everything is on its place where it should be let me check so if i increase the number of people um it says first of all the name is not okay so if we save it now 200 per person so that is not correct actually so let me check what is the problem so the tip amount uh, is dividing by people and then we are adding that to it but as equals to tip amount divided by this okay so what is the problem then if i click on 2000 okay now we will click we just have to click on the calculate button so it's working fine okay so for this image and text uh, you can do it it's just gonna take some time that's why we can prefer to skip it as well but uh, let me see if i can arrange it i have downloaded pretty recently so just let me see yeah that's the image so just let me just quickly do this as well just to make sure that i build exactly what i said rather than just you know completing something like that assets hopefully you may have been already aware about this and how to do this but if you're not do let me so basically we are like you know creating a folder of assets and then we are defining it in perspspec.yaml so that we can access those files all the files which will be available in there so i will copy this and i will come to my assets folder paste it there okay 
and I'll close it uh, minimize this this as well and above the text field I will have a sized box and I'm going to give it a height of around let's go for 20 again height 20 okay so then what we want we want an image dot asset and then we will say assets slash uh, what is the name the name is notes dot png so I'll say notes dot png um, okay sorry that is done now we need a text so we will say in the text that this is a tip calculator so let me do that as well tip calculator let me just have some kind of space between these um, let's say around six i believe that would be enough if i save this well, that's too big <laughs> we want the height to of uh, this to be around uh, let's say 100 and width to be around 100 as well yeah it seems like it's looking fine we can you know like we can always play with these um these style and all like font size i can say something like 17 and all but Overall, I believe it's done, and uh, we can let's let's try with another values like for example five thousand. Um, I know Orbil is not <laughs> never going to be five thousand majorly, if, but yeah. So five thousand, and we have a tip of around let's say six percent. And if I click on this, um, let me make it easy for us to do. Okay, so. 5000 we have 10 for one person if i increase, increase that to two and if i calculate it will be 250 per person so yeah it's working perfectly fine and uh, yeah task successful <laughs> so hopefully you learned something in this video if you do make sure to hit that like button hit, make sure to hit, hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah i'll be watching you seeing you uh, in the comments and yeah it's that I will see you in the next video.